He lived in penury and worked at a coal mine with his sisters and father. As a child, he used to play football on streets and was really good at it. When some reputed scouts spotted his talent and asked him to play, he didn't charge money but asked for 35 footballs to practice with. In 2014 he emerged as one of the most expensive football players. As a Croatian child, Luka lived in a shabby hotel with his refugee family. He faced a war-stricken childhood, as Croatia was a violence-prone area. After overcoming adversities and his lack of confidence, Luka has now become one of the best midfielders in the world. Neymar faced sheer poverty and had an unprivileged childhood. His father worked on three jobs to help his family survive. At times, there wasn't even electricity in the house. Although, he once lived in a tiny room with his family, he is now one of the most talked about and the second most expensive players in the world. Born in a family of nine, Suarez faced financial difficulties growing up. He shined in football but didn't have shoes to play the game. When he met the love of his life, she encouraged and infused him with the passion for soccer. Luis, reportedly, picked up coins from the streets to take her out on a day. Now, he is married to her and plays for Uruguay. He has scooped many trophies and is one of the world's best footballers. Messi excelled in football since childhood. Because of his short height, he could easily sneak his way to the goal post, but had trouble scoring because of severe growth hormone deficiency. His family couldn't afford to treat him. When Barcelona discovered Messi, his father gave them an ultimatum stating that he will only let his son play if they fund his treatment. Barcelona agreed and Messi emerged as one of the top goal scorers in the world. Sanchez was raised by his mother who worked as a cleaner at his school. He struggled really hard financially and had to take up jobs like cleaning cars to survive. Despite these hardships, he grew up loving football and showed exceptional control and pace. At the age of 16, he played for a local club and now sparkles for Chile, earning 119 caps for the team. At the age of 17, Gabriel was seen painting the streets of Brazil. It could be easily inferred that a weak financial background pressed him to do it. Little did he know that he'll soon be painting the future of Brazil's football team with his tremendous forward play. Later, he also got an Olympic gold medal in 2016.